And look at that. We're back and we're live. Thank you so much for Tongues for that fantastic performance. And I hope you enjoyed my little interview just there with Shelter Boy. He was lovely. I had a great chat. That was really early this morning. We had a little chat and he was hung over on a Wednesday because he's a legend, isn't he? Why not? Um, but remember, if you click on the little chat we've got going on Twitch... Uh, and you can enter and pre-save his brand new single, which is dropping on Friday, which I've heard, and it's a banger. He's right, it does have a bit of a primal scream groove to it. But also, you've got the chance, if you do pre-save it, to win this little spiffy number. It's a shirt, well, a jumper that says Manchester on it. You could be in a chance for winning that, and a little mug that also says Manchester on it. So, so if you like Manchester, or just want to pretend you've been there, uh, which in lockdown is all we can really do. But right now... We've got to move on, because that's what time does to us all. And we've got to chat to our next performance. Performer, in fact. Come on, Jack, get it right. This is your job. This is your living. Uh, Elise Mason. Uh, I'm saying this like it was really oh. posh then, didn't I? I went, Elise Mason. <laughs> Elise Mason. Elise well, Maison. It, it's, a, it's kind of French, though, isn't it? At yeah. least it's French. I'm not French, though. It depends what sort of performer you want to be. If you're going for Lana Del Rey vibes, introduce yourself as Elise Maison. You know what? I think, I think just Elise. Elise. Yeah, it's strong, that, isn't it? Elise Mason. I think it's the way it's spelled as well. Elise. It's very, like, symmetrical, isn't it? It's something you'd say to the wind as you're leaving. Really? Because I think it's quite, like, like it violates you a little bit. <laughs> like, That's what you think about your own name. You think your own name violates people. It, it just, yeah, but it's like, it shouts. It shouts. As, in like, as in, like, it's just like, show up. Do you, remember, like. do you remember that um, during lockdown one, huh, those sweet, sweet summer memories? Um... When there was that woman who'd lost her African grey parrot and she kept going, Chantel! Chantel! Is it sort of like that? Is that how you picture your name? I wish I could share this moment with you, but I really don't know. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. Really if you, if you, <laughs> Twitch is if you know about someone who's lost an African grey parrot called, Ch oh, it's Chanel. Um, Chanel. Then um, do do get in touch because I, I hope it wasn't a fever dream I had. I'm oh, pretty good, sure. No, it was days. Chanel. There we go. Come through <laughs> for the next. See, you just missed out on a big moment in time. Uh, the but first lockdown seems so far away, though. I know. Like Tiger King and all that. Like, I miss Tiger King. I know. Is he still in prison? I, You've been in prison longer than him. I know. Yeah, Jesus. He's a mad one. <laughs> oh, good old Tiger King. <laughs> Oh, those are the days. But uh, you've been you've been busy in lockdown. Yeah, been yeah. Releasing tunes, is, releasing yeah. videos. Yeah. So videos. The, you released the video for something good at the start of the first lockdown. I did. Yeah, yeah. That was a. It was a funny little experiment. It was the first time I've like ever, like, kind of directed my own music video. At, that yeah. Kind of like, and I don't know. I just wanted it to sound. Uh, sorry, look very like like lo-fi so that's yeah. kind of what we went for because everyone was kind of indoors not being really able to do the jobs and just like let's make it a little more like at home i guess yeah, yeah. you're trying to catch a moment in a way there's yeah. you playing a jigsaw I don't, know if you, is, you, yeah. I don't know if you play a jigsaw. Uh, you know, uh, it, it wasn't fake. I play jigsaws. Like, <laughs> I, ha I have a whole pile of them at home. Oh, really? Yeah, I've got Harry Potter ones as well. Of Harry Potter. Nice. You legend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you also flipped a few pancakes. I did, yeah, I did flip a few pancakes. Like, <laughs> what, like the first why and the pancakes last? in, like, what was that in? It's cute, March. isn't it? It's like, cute. Pancakes well, are cute. It's pancake true. flipping. I, I'm pretty sure it was, like, pancake day as well. Was it? When I filmed it, yeah. Oh. Was it, like, back in... Well, that would have been February, so that would have been pre-lockdown. I mean, you're you preempting the lockdown, in a way. Melted in my brain, so... <laughs> yeah, who knows what's happening anymore. <laughs> but that song, the message in it is quite interesting, because isn't it a, partly about depression? It is. Yeah. Wow, that's a bit heavy, isn't it? Well, you know, you yeah. come about it in a, in a nice... It's such a warm yeah. song. Yeah, I it, think I kind of, like, I make light out of it, I guess, but um, in general. But, like, yeah, I, I think I think it, it... I wanted to release that song because I think it could relate to a lot of people. Yeah. Like, during that time as well, because, like, there's a lot of people, especially musicians, like, oh, loads of musicians that I know who were kind of stuck in four walls and lost their jobs and everything, and... I don't know, I just kind of wanted it to resonate with them a little bit. But, yeah, it's just kind of feeling like I don't want to get up today. Yeah. I just don't want to get up. But, like, that doesn't make me a bad person. Please don't think I'm a bad person because of it. It's like it's kind of like that. Because that's really relatable. Yeah. I think a lot of people will have been in the same situation and then when you hear it in a song, it kind of makes you feel less alone. So yeah. that's a powerful thing to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But when you're writing a song like that, because it's quite a tough subject to perhaps tackle. Yeah, Do you absolutely. know that that's what's coming out when you're starting to write it or does it just organically form? I think it's a bit of both sometimes. I think every song is different when I write it. I mean, sometimes I go in with the intention of writing, I want to write about this today. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's just like, 
I get the music first and the lyrics come to me. It's just like, oh, well, that formed in my head and that's that's nice. I like it. And yeah, I just like a, a, a nice finished product. It's just yeah. like, oh, I like that. It's well, finished and it's it's like an art piece. It wasn't there and now it's there. It's created. That's kind of weird, isn't it? It's like, it's not there one, one minute and then next minute it's just like, you've got this whole song. It's, well, it's something like, that was just in your thing. head that you didn't know was there and then exactly. it's, it's exists. Yeah. It's tangible nearly. It's mental. That's mad. It yeah. is. It's powerful stuff. It is. It, yeah. When you think about anything, anything's a little bit mad. Though, yeah, isn't it? yeah, when you think about it like that. If, yeah. if we're getting on those kinds of If we get to those levels. You know? <laughs> but let's, let's draw things back because you're from Rochdale originally. I am, yeah. Big up the Dale, <laughs> which as an older man, I regret saying... Uh, there's a bit of rivalry, Wait, but you didn't know about the rivalry. You mentioned this before. I don't. I don't. I, didn't, I don't think I've ever known about. The I rivalry. think it's all in Oldham's head. Although <laughs> I think it might be. Yeah. I ch- but I might just be. Rochdale might just be the, like, the gaslighters. The gaslighters. So it's being all like, in your head. So you're you're just you're just lighting the fuse still yeah, now. Maybe. You're keeping this going. It's, it's like, a nightmare. Mm, yeah. Um, but I've sort of got to ask because I read this. You performed in Rochdale's Got Talent. Oh my god. When you were ten. Uh, I was 14. You were 14. Okay, well, the Rochdale Herald uh, got that wrong then. Sorry, Rochdale. <laughs> <laughs> wrong again. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, and you won. I did, yeah. You, who are you up against? Please say a sheepdog. Who? A sheepdog. A sheepdog. Yeah, like, I've seen Britain's Got Talent. Dogs have won before. I think you're more talented than a dog. I've seen a few dogs. You know what? That is the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm so flattered. How am I single? Who knows? I, I don't know. When I say a woman's better than a dog and then they, they get offended. There we go. There we go. Happy International <laughs> Women's Day the other day, by the way. Um, so, yeah, you won. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, did that lead to anything? Did you get a certificate? Uh, I got 500 quid, actually. That's well, Okay, I, I was sort of being like, whoa, 500 and quid. And back in the day, 500 quid when you were 14. It was just everything, wasn't it? Straight down to Argos, yeah. Oh, I, every time every time I think about that, all I can think about is the outfit I wore. What outfit did you wear? Oh, I, I, it wasn't so much the outfit, actually. It was the hair. Yeah. So it was like I was just coming out of my scene kid phase. Mm. And I had this little f- fake flower Fake clip flower. there, and but but you know when you know when they used to have the big hair, it's like really back short, combed. Sh- yeah, mm. short legs and back combed all the way up here. But it was yeah. like it was like a a rectangle. It wasn't even wow. round. Like I couldn't even do it properly. Oh, I wish you'd brought pictures. And that's there on the internet for everyone to well, see. Uh, Not that make sure should stay see on it. Twitch, but do Google <laughs> that to try and find it. I know I'll be Definitely doing that when I get that. home. <laughs> I'll be quite the delight. Um, but if you weren't maybe being a singer songwriter, what would you? What would be your other talent? Oh, this sort of thing? oh, a talent. Oh, I don't know. I, I I know what job I'd do. Okay, well, tell us the job first. Well, <laughs> you straight on that. <laughs> if, you're, if you're forthcoming, I'll, I'll take it. I've always wanted to be a hotel reviewer. Yeah, well, like, I just review hotels, you go in live in like, hotels, and nice and bed. review them. Yeah. Oh. Just I don't know. I just, I love hotels. Just, like, <laughs> imagine doing that and getting paid for it instead of paying them. I think you could do that whilst you're on... Why don't you do that when you're next tour? Oh, my God. Like, I mean... Two you, birds, one song. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You can do a little, like, YouTube channel, put it on the Instagram. Oh, that will be you great. Give me all the ideas tonight. There we go. I think you should do it. So that's what you want to do as a job, but what would be your talent? I can juggle. Can you juggle? Not very good. <laughs> can you show us how you can juggle? Because I may or may not have known that you could juggle. Oh, no, really? And I may or may not have brought... Three balls that are down the side that are my dog's balls. They haven't used the dog. They haven't been used did with the dog. Did you really bring them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did my research, oh, did. mate. There's some. There's three balls down there for you. Oh, no. The, this is all, by the way, this is all uh, Corona safe. They're a bit light, though. They're a bit light. They're a bit light. Already yeah. blaming the tools. Do I have tools. to open these? Do yeah, I have yeah, to open yeah. My dog don't mind. Oh, I asked him. It's See, fine. I'm, I'm, under pre- I'm under pressure now. I don't know what to do because <laughs> I know that I'm not going to do it very well. well I, said, I said I can do it, but not very well. It's just it's more like a pipe trick. This was quite tactically sort of making you say this so that I'd have the balls ready. But I'm really glad I've done this. What else did you research? I want to know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> some of the stuff I turned up is not safe for the internet. Um, okay, uh, give me, I just want to practice one. Okay, one? everyone, everyone, just look away for a second. Okay, I'm ready. This is Elise. This is Elise for Rochdale's Got Talent. Wait, 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 wait. I just, I'm just getting the weight. You're getting, she's just getting the weight right, guys. I'm just getting the weight right. Okay, because we all know when juggling, you got to get the weight right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 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 amazing. I'll find that later. I've gone for like five minutes. 
I, I've, <laughs> I've, I've said I can usually go longer and last longer than five minutes as well. <laughs> and that's also been a lie. Not experienced that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that sort of show. Um, although these sofas beg to differ. Uh, if they could talk. <laughs> Well, that went far better than I thought it would, yeah, and I will yeah. be clipping that up on the internet Great. and um, applying Brilliant. for something in that. But I thought we could do a little game, just you and me, right? Because are you going to put me under pressure? No, no, no I'm not going to Queen and David Bowie. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm actually going to someone. Someone, please like that reference on Twitch because that was absolutely banging. Come on. Um, I want you to help me pick what an uh, a fictional character, what artist they'd be into, what what would be on their Spotify, what would be on their playlist. Do you think you can help me tactically okay, get this? What what fictional character? So let's Do start the first th one. Okay, right, right. Phoebe from Friends. Right. What sort of stuff would she be listening to? Oh. You can join in on Twitch, by the way. Oh. Phoebe from Friends, what do you reckon? You know, the first thing that came to mind, Yeah. and I actually don't know the artist, oh, she, her name's like Francis something, and she's it's like, Space Girl, I saw a lunar eclipse. It was well, that sounds uh, good. I, I have mean, you never heard it? I, I, well, Are you not on TikTok? I, 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 sometimes I am. <laughs> But I'm, like I'm also far too old to really be on TikTok too much. Although yeah. I, there was a I dance give in everything. sometimes. There's a dance for it. I forgot it, but I did do it. There was a Sam Smith one. What I remember that. Shining on the light, that one. That I mean, they all look the same. Really. Yeah, well, we, we, we discussed this before that we're both terrible parent dancers. I'm dad, she's mum dancing. Mm. And we just revealed that there, live on that. Um, best musicians from Rochdale. All the best musicians are from Rochdale. That's from uh, Nathaniel Howard. Do you think that's true? Ah! I know, weirdly enough, I, I know a, a gorgeous uh, singer called... Uh, I thought you could say yourself, then. <laughs> just be like, this is really big-headed here. <laughs> it's great, you're going to love her. <laughs> no, no, you didn't even let me finish, so it could have been, but it's not. <laughs> Was it Francis Forever who you were singing uh, yes, for? Yes, Francis Forever. Sorry. Thank you, there thank you, go. thank you. M. Bantam, you saved my skin again. <laughs> But there's an artist that I know, uh, she's called Morgan Harper-Jones, and weirdly enough, she was up against me in Rochelle's Got Talent. So you beat her? Yeah, but she's much better than me. Uh, she's I'm much better than me. She's not saying the same thing. No, she honestly, she's amazing. <laughs> okay, so we've gone for Fever from Friends. We've got Francis Forever. I like that. Marina and the Diamonds. Oh, that kind of quirky stuff. Quirky you know? stuff, yeah. bit poppy, like yeah. Hollywood's and Fantasy yeah. Open. Oh, who else? Um, um, oh, do you remember Mika? Oh, could yes. I be blue? Could I be green? Could I be violet and sky? Yeah. Could I be blue? Could I be violet and sky? And do you know what? Big girls, you are beautiful. It's exactly. about time someone said it. Exactly. That's what I thought when I first heard that. Yes. Um, next one, jo Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Oh, Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Snow, Snowman. Bit yeah. sulky. Ooh. Right, 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 right. No, I know nothing. I'm Jon Snow. I know nothing. For some reason, know I sound like Jon I'm from Snow. Leeds, even oh. though I'm in a fictional world. Oh, Sam Fender. Sam Fender. Sam Fender. I think he's yeah. a bit like, oh, He'd yeah. He listened to Sam Fender. Because it's Northern as well. Oh, you it? know what? Obviously, Oasis. Yeah, you yeah, reckon? Yeah, I thought yeah, it'd yeah, be yeah. a bit, because he's a bit like, it looks like he's sad a lot of the time. He is sad a lot but of I the time. But I think he, um, but he wants to turn that outward. I think he'd be a bit of a Linkin Park man. Ooh, Linkin Park. Yeah, I'd say that. He's got numb. He's got the lyrics of it tattooed on his arm, I Okay, bet. yeah, yeah, I dig that. Yeah, I get That's it. That's what I'm reckoning. Yeah. Any, any, any of these getting in on Twitch, get your ones in, because we've already had you saving the skin. So make sure you keep doing that one. Here's, an, here's a great fictional character, Arthur the Aardvark. Having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. Wait, so that's not the theme tune, is it? And I say, hey, hey, it's a wonderful kind of day. Oh, and the you can one learn with the, to the, work and play. the, the ball Get along head. with each other. Well, he, yeah. he has like a... Got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat. What is it, like a rugby ball? The rhythm, the rhythm of the street. So he's, he's an animal and his best oh, mate's a rabbit. He's got glasses, yeah. He has glasses. Half the oh, okay. How, how did your childhood not revolve around this? I learned most I of my really life lessons it. from I Arthur. I didn't really watch it. I, I was watching, like, That's So Raven. Like, ah, That's So Raven. It's the future, like, I can see. Like, kind of like, yeah, yeah. Banging theme tune. Um, what would he listen to? Arthur the Arthur. He's quite a colourful guy. He's quite yeah. perky. Maybe a bit of Vance Joy, but just the Riptide Ooh, song. Yeah. That's the only song anyone knows exactly. by him. Exactly, yeah. Slipknot <laughs> has been suggested <laughs> in because he's an angry, he's secretly <laughs> decided something. He did punch DW in one episode and we were all very, very worried about it. <laughs> Arthur Inter is an absolute jam. Uh, assumed football head. Uh, the Littlest Hobo? Is that another... Wait, so that's a, that's a... We're looking for artists. Chris Martin. m has gone for anything by Chris Martin. He would be a Coldplay guy. And I think yeah, post-early I Coldplay. Coldplay. I think you've yeah. only, only got into them by Definitely Viva La Vida, Coldplay. I reckon. Uh, Snow Patrol. Snow Patrol, Snow Patrol. yeah. yeah. He's yeah. A bit, of, bit of mum anthems. He mm. likes them. That's fine. I like that. Okay, nice. here's an here's a interesting character for this week. Controversially, Piers Morgan. 
Oh, he listens What's he to some listening really to? Rubbish. Apart from the sound of his own <laughs> voice. Susan Boyle. Susan Boyle. He's just listened to Subo on just repeat. That, just that, that. That explains why he's so frustrated in so many ways. <laughs> uh, let's quickly move on from that one before we get some hate. Um, Nessa from Gavin and Stacey. I've never watched Gavin and Stacey. Never watched Gavin and Stacey? I've never watched Gavin and Stacey. It's really annoying me that you have a life. Like you, you, you're actually doing things for your life rather than just watching endless amounts of telly like I am. Um, let's do that so Raven then, because you know that it's the future she can see. Right, that was so what you went Raven, for. Raven, she would listen to... I think she'd be a bit of a Beyonce gal. You reckon? Mm. But she wouldn't have been originally because she would have been annoyed about the power struggle uh, with mm. Destiny's Child. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a decent shout. Definitely Dua Lipa. Big fan of that. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think you've nailed it. We've got anyone else in? Uh, Shirley Bassey? Um, I don't know if that was for this one, but I, I kind of like it. <laughs> I like the idea of That's So Raven listening to Shirley Bassey. She was great. I at least I love that. It, didn't she come back or was that Tracy Beaker? She's come back soon, hasn't she? I never really used to watch Tracy Beaker either. I think <sighs> I watched like one or two episodes. But... I feel like you missed out on a lot of good CBBC stuff. Oh, Pink is a good one from M. Phantom. That would be a shout. But nice. we should probably talk a little bit about your music. And do we have to? We do a bit. Because oh. I'm really interested because after you released your first EP, I, I saw in an interview that you had a um, writer's block. I had a, yeah. Yeah. What's that? Is that quite scary as an artist? Yeah, because you want to. You, I think you always want to do your best, and you, you like having writer's block is kind of like putting a pause on your career in a yeah. weird way. It's like so for I think it was about six months. I couldn't write a single thing. Like and there we, wasn't a thing that came out. And what's that like? So you like literally just sat there with like your instruments mm -hmm. and just nothing news coming. Nothing new was coming, and I mean it, it clicked in me one day, but like yeah. I, I was. Just, I, I think everything that came out was samey. And it was just like, do I really want to do this? Like, I think I want to go in a different direction kind of thing. And you did go in a different direction. I did go in a different direction. So what sparked that different direction? Was there a song or I, was there a I artist? thought about writing differently. So I used to just, I mean, I was very kind of like folk, poppy mm. kind of. There was um, a bit of a London grammar vibe. So, yeah, early. yeah, like, it, was, it was kind of London was grammar vibe a little bit. Sprawling. Yeah, and I, I definitely wanted to do, uh, like, I just had my little, like, Martin uh, acoustic guitar, and I think I just kind of, like, I wanted to do more. I felt like I, I wanted to hear more. I, I wanted to experiment more, and I, I kind of saw it differently. And I started thinking about my music visually as well, which helped me a, a ton. Visually? Be yeah. Okay, because you're going to have to explain that to, to me. Well, here. I just, I realised that I was very visually inspired. Like, all Big of my into song. Pinterest. I'm I'm so into Pinterest. Is that basic? No, like, no. I'm so into Pinterest. It's exciting. But I make little mood. I make mood boards for every one of my songs, and it oh, helps. Really? Yeah, it helps create a mood. It helps. It helps with like color and and like the vision and the music video and all that and the even the production, nice. especially the production. Because I started writing to for my songs to be produced in a certain way instead of just on acoustic guitar. But I started writing more on keys and on electric guitar as well. And yeah. I think I was insp I was so inspired by the eighties as well. I was like, I just wanna. I was watching a lot of American movies. American <laughs> movies, it's yeah. Very cliche, really. Pretty but, Woman. Um, no, I've not watched Pretty Woman actually. Uh, that's a good eighties film. Questionable morals, but mm, good eighties film. Say anything. That's a good one. Mm. Say anything with um. Oh, what's his name? I, I've uh, never seen it. I've just seen Pretty Woman. That's the only one I said. Oh, oh Breakfast no. Club. Breakfast Club, yeah. Banging. Breakfast Club. Don't you? Yeah. It's kind of like. <sighs> Back in the day. Back in the day. When I wasn't here. When you when you didn't when, when you I didn't a twinkle exist. in your father's exactly. eye. Yeah. Um so you also you did a tour, was it last February with Tom Walker? Uh, I didn't tour, I did I did a gig in Manchester. Did a gig in Manchester. Yeah. Where, where where was that venue? Uh that was in Night and Day Cafe and Ollie played with me, didn't you, Ollie? You did, yeah. That's my keyboard player, Ollie. We've well, got James as confirmed, well over there. Confirmed <laughs> that you did play. How was that opening for Tom Walker? I was mental. It was yeah. mental that I got the call and just like, oh, they've chosen you to play with Tom Walker. I was like, how have they chosen me? It was just like, well, I, I don't Sorry, know. They just, they, they, no, it wasn't, I wasn't on <laughs> I don't think that exists in my head back then. <laughs> yeah, so that was really mental. But um, he's a great guy as well. Really funny. He's really funny. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Definitely. Yeah. Well, we've got another little memory for you from Brian's B. Uh, BS V promotions. I think I've got that right. I didn't want to say Brian's BS then. Uh, Thursday afternoon at Blue Dot was really chilled out for me. How oh was it for you? Oh my God. Were you performing or were you hanging out? 
I, I, I performed <laughs> there. I performed there. Mm. And uh, it was it was it the last festival that we went to? It must have been the last festival that, that we went to. You gain a confirmed and nod, yeah. Yeah, but I don't really go to festivals, weirdly enough. I've never really... What, on your own? Not like ever. You've never done you never done the whole, like, she's hate... finished, get off to leave. No, first. I used to hate big crowds. It used oh, to make okay. me nervous. I'm fine now. I'll, yeah. I'll be at the well, front of the stage. That's, that's because you want them to come see you. Oh, well, Let's no. change your perspective <laughs> on it, yeah. I think lockdown like, just has me, like, caged. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just have 14 here, please? Just at the front. That's all I want. But, yeah, that, that was a... Uh, that was an incredible gig, a little nice little stage that we played on, and I, I got to go and I had to leave because I had another thing actually, and I couldn't come back. But I would have loved to stay. I wanted to I wanted to play again this this year, but couldn't do it obviously. Uh, is there any? Because you uh, were you down to play Kendall Calling as well? I was, yeah, um, and uh, uh, one in Norway as well. I was so looking forward to that. Is there any massive attack was playing that? that Robin been was great. playing that. That would be an atmosphere. I know. Could have stood around and like just just zoned into that. I know. But it w- these things will happen. And is there any like yeah. what's on the bucket list of venues or festivals you want to play? I mean, I go straight for the big Glastonbury one. Yeah. Where do definitely. you see yourself at Glastonbury? On the big stage. Big stage. Yeah. Pyramid stage. Yeah, on definitely. There. Move over, Alan, John. You've had your time. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Why not? That'd be amazing. But who would you, because you supported Tom Walker recently, um, well, recently, uh, in this lockdown age, time is relative. Um, <laughs> but who would you support if you could at the moment, who's on the scene that you'd love to get involved with? Or even well, just gig along with? I'm going to go back, weirdly enough, to Sam Fender. I Sam like, Fender? Yeah, I, th- I think I'd be a good support for is him. His cheekbones. I think it's everything, you He's know. He's got fine cheekbones, mm. that man. He once walked through an office and he put some chewing gum on a knife. And now in our office, we've got uh, Sam Fender's chewing gum just there. It's so just there? Is it yeah, labelled yeah. and everything? Yeah, so if you, it's on a knife, on a little plastic knife. So if you ever need some Sam Fender DNA, I'm not going to... I'll ask no questions. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Have you seen that episode of Black Mirror? No. Takes, oh, no. <laughs> take, take, tell me. He takes the DNA <laughs> yeah. from... Um, it's like a game. He makes games. He takes the DNA from people and then he puts the DNA in the game, but it's like Star Trek. Like, so, so the set is Star Trek, but they are real people from... So they're kind of cloned, but inside the game. So they try and Ooh. escape because they think that they've been put inside the game, but really they're clones, but they still have their own... They still have the same thoughts and memories, and it's just like a whole Star Trek like episode. It's amazing. It's great, you should watch it. It's very philosophical. It's, it's, it's it like the so Matrix good. on heat. Um, do you want to try one last game that I came up with this morning? Okay. Because my window cleaner was knocking about, <laughs> right, right, right. and he always whistles along to the radio, and I try and guess the tune. So I was thinking, this is not a rip off from Mind the Buzzcocks. Don't you say that. Um, so I thought, if I can whistle a tune, do you think you can try and guess it? And everyone Probably. joining in the room, <laughs> everyone joining on Twitch, don't leave her on her own. Yeah, don't, guys. Come <clears> on. <throat> like, yeah. Let's try this. You got me, right? Cool. Is it Nicki Minaj? Oh, we have a what? ding, 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 oh, ding. No. Winner. Which one? Which one was it? It was, can you get it? Taylor Swift is correct. Shake, Shake it, it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Oh. Okay. It's a, I'm counting this as a success then. Let's try another one. This is really pushing my whistling talents, guys. Uh, I would win Watch, Rochdale's Got Talent. <laughs> Uh, gorillas. Uh, 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 feel good ink. <laughs> yeah, we got there. We got there. God, I'm loving this whistling. Um. Oh, oh, straight God. away. Keyboard has got it. Okay, we'll try it again. Oh. Yeah, song two. Do you want to come sit here, James? Oh, no. <laughs> You're obviously doing that. Nailing it. Nailing it. Okay, we'll do my last one because we're getting through these quicker right, than I right, thought. Right, 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 right. Oh, God. I shouldn't have. Let's leave this one for you. Smoked so heavily in my youth. No, don't worry, um, because I won't get this now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, uh, Kate Bush. Yes. Which, which song is it? And the song Wuthering, you keep going? Heights? No. Uh, um, uh, uh, babushka, 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 baby! Babushka, baby! 
<laughs> I wanted to show that up for so blooming long. There we go. You know your Yay. tunes. You know yourself. So what can we expect for the performance tonight? Um, yeah, it's quite a laid back performance, actually. Quite laid back. Yeah, I'm very looking forward to it. It's the first time we've played technically live. As, in a, 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 in as a long a, time. As in, like, as people thruple. other than me. As <laughs> Uh, a three piece, that's the word, isn't it? Uh, I implied romantic intentions when there was none. Uh, <laughs> sorry. This is off the cuff. Um Well that'd be lovely. And and your you've got a, you've got a, is that your stool from home? No, I stole it from the drummer. You stole it from the drummer. Yeah. That's a nice stool though, isn't it? It's a nice I stool. I thought you brought it from home. It's comfortable. I had to a sit lot on. to talk about here. Like what would you rate that stool? Okay, wait a sec. You're gonna be a hotel reviewer. Oh right, okay, right, right. Let's right, review right. the stool. You'll see this stool later in Elisa's performance, by well, the way. Well, you know what? The shape of the legs just aren't hitting it for me. That sounds like an Ed Sheeran lyric. <laughs> <laughs> shape of the Shall legs. Shall I pitch that? Shall I pitch that to him? Oh, he'd love it. Yeah. He'd be like, it does sound a bit like Shape of You. Yeah. But do you know what? If it buys me another village in Suffolk, why not? <laughs> why not? And I think, I, think, I think the seat could be comfy, to be honest. The seat could be comfy. Love okay, it. guys. We've had a review of the seat. It's been used too often for big drummer boys <laughs> and it's uh, it's not kitted out properly for Elise but you know what Elise I'm going to let you get ready yes. for your performance so oh, is it going to be all originals we're going to get any covers chucked in there no, all originals no, so that's fine I, I want all originals I'm yeah. here to see you I don't want to see Babushka <laughs> at no point we've already seen your juggling talent so uh, if anyone needs to tune up at any point um, the balls will be available on stage for Elise to have another go <laughs> I think maybe that would be great. Mid-performance, can you hold a note? Well, sir... I can't even hold a note in general. Like, okay. <laughs> I may be putting far too much on you. Uh, you can just tell Jack won a talent show with a whistling performance when he was little and never stopped ever since. Stop looking into my soul. Um, before Twitch in turns entirely on me, at least get up there, get ready for the show. I'll leave you to it. You do your vocal exercises. I'll get a comfy seat in the front row on Twitch. I'm excited to see what you're doing. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs>